you are welcome to my channel mindset academy where we want to solve a problem involving gear and the question goes like this it says a wheel has 20 teeth of 22 millimeter circular pitch and pressure angle 20 degree set out various circle and show the seven teeth give a table showing the number of teeth pressure angle pitch circle diameter circular pitch addendum dedendum addendum circle diameter dedendum circle diameter clearance and circular tooth thickness also show your calculation now the first thing you do is to write the terminologies, the term, the parameters given in a tabular form, right? From the question, we are given just three, just um, four parameters. We are given the number of teeth to be 20, the circular pitch to be 22, the pressure angle to be 20 degree, the size of teeth is seven, right? Now, I would have first of all calculated for the circular pitch, for the pitch circle diameter. But we don't have the basics here. What are the basics? We need the module, right? And um, we need the module. I will also need what is called the number of teeth in order to get the PCD. So the first thing you calculate for is the pitch circle diameter. So for my pitch circle diameter, which I'll give us PCD, P, C, D, right? It is giving us what? The number of teeth multiplied by what? Multiplied by the module, right? And we don't know the number of teeth and we also don't know the module. So I'm going to just call it equation what? Equation one, right? Now, how can I calculate for the module? We know very well that my circular pitch CP, right, is giving us what? The pi multiplied by what? By the module, right? Now, what is the circular pitch? It is given to be what? 22. So we say that 22 is equals to what? The pi giving us 22 all over what? All over 7, right? Multiply by what? By module. Right? So if I cross multiply, I'll be having my module to be equals to what? S um, 7 times what? 22. All divided by what? 22. So 22 equal 22 will be left with what? 7. So the module is giving us what? 7 millimeter. So I'm going to now input it here that my module is given to be what? 7 millimeter. Right? Now, if I now come back, so substitute into equation 1. So I will now substitute into equation 1. Substitute into equation 1. So we'll now say that the PCD will now be equals to the number of teeth, which is given as 20, multiplied by the module, which is calculated to be what? 7. So that will give us what? Uh, 100 and what? 40 millimeter. So I'll come here and I'm going to write the PCD, which is what? 140 millimeter. Now, when I've done that, the first thing I will now do is to draw the diameter of the PCD. Let's be doing that in, uh, we'll be doing that gradually, right? So what I do is I will just draw a line this way. You can see that. On that line, I will draw a vertical line there, this way. I'll draw a vertical line there, this way. Right, so if I should do that, 
हजुर बात कर लाए हैं जी सुबह कैसी था ना दिन से ना दो एट दिस पॉइंट आओ ना मेजर हाफ ऑफ द पीसीडी डी रेडियस वी नीड डी रेडियस टू ड्रॉ अ सर्कल सो मेजर हाफ ऑफ इट एंड हाफ ऑफ इट इज गिवन टू बी सेवेंटी सो मेजर सेवेंटी ऑन माय मीटर रूल दिस वे from zero to seven, that is half of one forty, and I'll place it at this point here, and I'll strike and add this way. I'll come back here, right? Then I'll now draw this this way. Can you see that? I draw it this way. So this I drew is my what is given to be the what. My PCD. Is that the key? Now the next thing I am going to do is to calculate for what? For the um the clearance, right? Calculate for the clearance. So for my clearance here, I will say that clearance. Is equals to what? Um. Zero point two five multiplied by what? Multiplied by the module, right? And that will be giving me um zero point two five multiplied by what? Seven, right? Multiplied by what? By seven. If you multiply zero point two five times seven, what do you be? What will you be having? We'll be having one point seven five. One point seven five, right? So the clearance here, I'm going to put one point seven five millimeter, right? That is my one point seven five. Is that the key? Now the next thing I'm calculating for will now be the addendum. Addendum is always equals to what the module. So if the module is seven, automatically my addendum is given as what a seven millimeter. Right. The next one we are calculating for will be the dendendum. Right. So the dendendum here we have the dendendum. The dendendum is equals to what? The addendum plus what plus the clearance, right? And what is I'm using A for my addendum and I'm using C for my clearance. You should write your own in full, right? Now the addendum here is seven plus the clearance is one point seven five, and that will give us eight point seven five millimeter. So this is eight point seven five. Eight point seven five millimeter, right? So that is what we have here. So now the next thing I'm calculating for can be my circular two thickness, right? So my circular two thickness CP is given to be pi times module. So I can call this to be my equation what equation two. So Substitute CP now will now be equals to what the pi multiplied by what times the module. What is the module? Module is given to be we have a uh, twenty two all over seven multiplied by the seven, which is the module. So when you put twenty two over seven, so you'll be having your circular pitch to be equals to what um. Twenty two by seven times seven, and that will give us what twenty two. So circular pitch here is given to be twenty two, right? So where is it? That is circular pitch is already given to be twenty two. So we already have it already. So we don't have to disturb ourselves with that. Now the next one is to calculate the circular two thickness. So the circular using circular two thickness CTT to be equals to um the circular pitch divided by what divided by two 
and that will give us 22 all over what 2 and that is giving us what as 11 millimeter so the circular two thickness given as what 11 millimeter right now the next thing that we should be calculating for again should be the base circle diameter right now my bcd b c d the base circle diameter is giving us p c d the piece of diameter cos pressure angle right so by the time you put it in my p c d is 140 cos 20 which is the pressure angle so 140 cos 20 that will give us a uh, 131.55 seven so this will give us to be 131.557 millimeter. So I'll write it here 131.557 millimeter. Right? And uh, the addendum, the circle diameter, I'll just use the addendum circle diameter ACD. Write yours in full. ACD will give us a. Um, we have um, the addendum will be the addendum plus the PCD. So it will be the addendum plus what the PCD, and that will give me what is the addendum here? Addendum is given as seven, right? Seven plus the PCD is what one forty. So the addendum will give us what one forty seven millimeter. So we have this to be. 147 millimeter here so we have this uh where is it here yeah. 147 millimeter that is the addendum why the the addendum here circle diameter the addendum circle diameter will give us what the pcd right minus what the addendum and that will give me 140 minus what? Minus um minus 8.75. Right? And that will give me uh, by the time you put in your parameters here, you're going to be having this to be um we have this to be 140 131.25. This gives us 131.25 millimeter. So we have 131.25 millimeter. Are we good? So we now move forward. Now calculated all what we need. Now it's way to start to draw. So the first thing we drew here was our PCD. That is step one. The next thing you're going to draw here will be what step two which will be what you draw your addendum your addendum is the radial height of the tooth above the pcd and the addendum here is what seven so i'm going to measure seven from here so from this point to this point here it's going to be seven so i will now take my compass and i'll place it here this way at least my mark i marked here earlier let me call it g to represent it at point G, I'll now come to take it to that point I mark as my seven. So I'll just draw my arc this way. You can see that now. After we've done that, so that mark you see there is what the addendum, right. And then step three is to draw your what? Your dendendum. And the dendendum is the radial depth of the teeth below the PCD. So from here you measure it downward. So what is the dendendum here? The dendendum is 8.75 millimeter, right? So I'm going to measure 8.75 here from this point. So I can start from the zero. This is zero here. So this is. Seven eight approximately this point here. 
8.75 and I'll take my compass place it at point G this way and I'm going to draw an arc over that point this way you can see that so that point you're seeing here is my what my didendum didendum All right then the step four is for you to draw your base circle diameter now from here you can just come this is the base circle diameter b c d and that is one thirty one point five five seven what's approximately one thirty two right so i'll just place my compass from g and i'll measure one thirty one so from here, or oh, I'll just place it here, zero, and this is half of one thirty one. If you divide it by two, if you divide one thirty by two, you'll be having um sixty five. So sixty five point five, right? So we have measure sixty five point five. So this is sixty, right? This is sixty five point five here, this point. But if you don't want to use that method. You can virtually make use of what your protractor right and you place it this way you place it this way ensuring that um, this center point is here you place it this minor you can see that this is zero 10 20 this 20 degree and you just draw a line from that point 20 here you measure and passing through the center here the center here right and you just draw this this way now when you do that this is the line you've drawn you will now take your compass place it at G right and you place it so that it is to that line you can see what do you notice you know we measured this to be our 65.5 right so you see that it will just meet it automatically you can see that so that is the alternative way for you getting your what your didendum the stagnation to it automatically is meeting that point we marked earlier right so either you measure this um, radius of this you no know, you're working with radius right so we're not using the entire circle so we are just using the radius, so that's what we have there. Now the next one is um after this, this is the first four steps you're going to do. Now the next thing you will now do here is that you pick a point here, you call that point point A, right? And on the um base circle diameter B C D, you call that point point E. Is that okay? Now what you do. You draw a tangential, you draw, you divide AE, and you look for one third of AE in order for you to get point B. So one third of AE, how will you get that? That means whatever you get here, divide it by three. So I'll measure from E to A. What would that give me? We have um, zero. This is 10, 11, 12. So we're having 12. So 12 divided by three is four. So I'll just come here and measure 4 from this point here, from A. I'll measure 4 this way. This is 0. And this is what? 4. So that point there will be my point what? My point B. You can see that? Now from point B, I'm going to draw a line tangential to the base circle this way. You can see that a line tangential to the base circle. So I'll just mark on that line closer to this point. I'll call that point point what D or whatever who you want to do. I can call it point D or point F. Is that again. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get one fourth of what of B D in order to get what point F, right? So one third of what of B D, one fourth of B D. To get what to get f so what will i do i'm going to measure bd then divide it by four so if i put it this way uh, from here 
is 0, 10, 20, 25, right? They will have uh, 28, right? So 28 divided by 4, that is 7. So I'm going to measure 7 from D, from 0 here, and I'm going to measure 7. And this is 7 here. Seven. So that is 7 there. Right? So the next thing is, I will not take my compass, I'll place it at point G, then take it to that point that I said is point 7, which I'll call my point F. Right? I will not draw an arc. Alright? So I'll draw an arc on that point F. This way. So I'll draw an arc. In this manner so this is the arc i'm drawing now after you've done that the next thing you do is this from point f with radius b right from point f with radius b you can see that from point f with radius b i'll draw an arc this way Able to take in it very well, right? The arc of draw will cut the PCD. This is the PCD here. Where it cuts the PCD, I'll call it my point what point C. So I will now measure from that point C. We are given that my circular tooth thickness, my circular tooth thickness here, circular tooth thickness is given as 11. So I'm going to measure 11 on my metal rule, which is the thickness of the teeth. You can see that. And I'll place it from C, and I'll mark. If I mark this on the PCD, these two points here is one size of teeth. And remember, we're giving seven sides of teeth. If I come again, one, two. That is two sides of teeth. If I come again, one, Two, that is three sides of teeth. Then I'll come to this point again. I'll do the same thing. One, two, that is four sides of teeth. One, two, five sides of teeth. One, two, six sides of teeth. Let me see again. Um, let's come here. One, two, that will be the seven size of teeth, right? So I should just, so now when I've done that, the next thing I'm going to do here is that, you know that it is from F to B, I got this size of teeth, this arc here, right? Then look at what I'm doing, so you don't make any mistake, see what I'm doing? Once I've done this way, I use this. I will not change the direction of my compass. I'll just move it to where? To this point here, the next point here, which is the thickness. I'll move it here. When I place it here, I will now mark on the radial arc. That is the arc of D, right? So when I do that, I will now turn it, that arc of D. When I mean the arc of D, I mean this the arc of F, sorry. This arc here, I mark on it. You can see that? So now I'll go back there and I'll draw this this way. Similarly, I will not change direction of my compass. I'll move it to the next point, which is this point here. You can see that? I'll now mark on that arc of F this way. You can see that? I will not change the direction. Look at what I want to do. I'll change direction and place it on the arc of F I mark here. Then I'll take it to this point. I'll do the next one. You can see that? Now with the same thing, I'll not change direction again. I'll come to this thickness here again. This thickness. I'm going to mark on the arc of F again, which is this. And I'll now change it to come there again. Then I'll do the same thing. 
I will not change it again. I will move it to the next thickness, which is this. Same direction, I'll mark on the arc of F. Then I'll just switch it. Look at what I'm doing. I'll just switch it back to this point I mark on the arc of F. So I'll just come here. Alright. I will not change direction again. I'll take the next thickness here. I'll mark on the arc of F, which is this. And I'll just change it, put it on that mark, that arc I marked. Then I'll get this. I will not change it again. I'll move it to the next thickness. I'll mark on the arc of F here. I'll take it to that point here. Then I'll do the next one. I'll move to the next thickness again. I'll mark on the arc of F. And I'll turn it here to this point. And I'm going to have this. You can see that? So I'll repeat the same process at this point too. Is seven. This is one, two, three, four. With the same distance, without adjusting the compass, I will come here. Write the next thickness. I will mark here, facing this direction on the arc of F. Remember the arc of what? Of F. I will now turn it this way. I will just get this arc. With the same thing, I will come here also on that thickness again. Mark on the arc of F. I will switch it here. Turn it this way around. Right, then I'll come here also. Thickness here, I'll mark here on the arc of F. I'll turn. I'll do the same thing. I'll come to this point also. I'll mark on the arc of F. I'll place it on that point. I'll do the same thing. Then I'll come here also, the arc of F. I'll mark, I'll switch it this way, and I have this. I'll come here too. I'll mark on the arc of F this way. I'll turn it. And I'll get this. Now, I'll now place my compass here to close the top of the teeth this way. I said that now the next thing remaining is for you to get the roots of the gear, right? So, what I'll just do is you can use your hand or you can just construct it. So, I'll just show you how to they call it the wider, right? They call it the fillet, and the fillet is the wider over seven. So, if I measure from here to the first corresponding to the next corresponding tooth, right? So this is 0 to here, that is 24. And 24 divided by 7, that will be giving us um, like um, 4 point something. So it's very small, right? So what I'll just do is, I might just take my hand here. I'll just show you one example. If this is, um, we have 7 here. If I measure my 4 here, you can see that. I'll come to, I'll just use one as an illustration for you. This is at this point where it meets here. And I'll bisect up. And I'll bisect down here. Right? I'll place it on that point. Like you're doing your fillet. Place it here. I'll come here also. I'll cut here too. So where they meet, I'll just get this arc this way. You can see that? So that is what we're doing. Just like you're having a, you're having two lines. You're having a line this way, and you're having another line this way. I want to construct a fillet this way. You just take the radius, you mark here, mark here, and just like you're bisecting an angle. Right where it meets, you get this. So, but it's too small. So I'll just be using my hand to complete them and I have this 
I have this. Then how about this? And this. Right? So look what we have here because it is so small. This is why I'm using my hand. So I just showed you how to construct what the fillet. Right? So what I'm trying to make you understand here is this. If I have this line this way, if I have this line this way, look at this. And I have this this way. And I want to draw a fillet, right? If this is my radius, if I place it here and I strike an arc here, I strike another arc here, where they meet, I'll place the other points, strike another arc. Place it here, strike another arc. So at that point where they meet, I'll be able to get this. You can see that. So this is what I'm actually trying to show you. So this is a fillet. Well, what is called a fillet? I also have what is called what? Uh chamfer. Right? But we're dealing with a fillet here. Just remember that the formula for fillet is giving us what? The wider over what? Over seven. And what is the wider distance of the first tooth to the corresponding distance of the second tooth from here to here or from here to here or from here to here whatever measurement you get you divide by seven so we have successfully constructed our gear so what i'll just do here is um i can say this here is my bcd I mean my didendum, didendum, right? Then the next one, but I don't need to do all that. So if you have actually found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share the video. Thanks for watching.